Um, your, the sexual abuse that you attracted when you were young was totally the result of your mother's law of attraction. Your mother had, had been sexually abused when she was young. No, she never. She still has trouble even dealing with it now, which is the reason why you saw it as the throat chakra issue, because it, she doesn't want to speak her truth. But she's had this sexual abuse when she was young, and she did not resolve it. And because that emotion entered you at the time that you were conceived, any men around her that were, were sexually abusive in nature would now abuse you. The men would be attracted through her law of attraction, but they'll now abuse the child, which is what their emotional injury is all about. Your mother now has this huge rage, of course, towards me, and, and still has this rage, and, and of course, that's also entered you, so you also have this rage towards men. And so the rage isn't towards the man you're currently with. It's actually towards all men. And it needs to be released. And the way to release it is by doing what similar to what Jen did and what you just did and so forth. And just allow yourself to experience that. But connect to it. it the sexual abuse issues that happened when you were a child were the result of your mother's law of attraction. I had this realisation <coughs> in the middle of the night, the other night, that when I was in the womb, that all she was trying to think of was how she could get away from my father. And I realised that that has played out in me. How you can get away from men, how you can get away from men. And this is the conundrum that you have with sexual abuse, you see, because on one hand you've got these sexual desires that you want to have a satisfied, fulfilling relationship with a person, and then on the other hand there's all these other emotions, which are like anger, rage, how can I get running away, and all of those things. And so it's very, very difficult to work your way through these emotions. And the key is always to focus on the personal emotion, to work your way through those personal emotions. Because as soon as you project them at the other person, you've now just taken away all your own power, but you've also now created a situation that's going to destroy relationships, just, just by doing that. It's so important to heal these emotions, these emotions of intergenerational abuse. It's such an important emotion to, to heal. It's going to change your life if you experience these things when you heal them completely. Yeah. And I'm talking not only just about like, like incest or abuse, but also about abuse from spirits or even sexual projections from men. If you can heal these emotions within you as women, you'll find your life will change markedly. And you'll start attracting men that don't do those kind of things uh, at you. There are plenty of men who don't, by the way. And Jen, yes. 